So believe it or not, another iOS iPhone thing could actually end up coming out. And this is actually a big change because this is probably, it's kind of up in the air exactly what's going to happen. But apparently a new rule inside of the European Union could actually make our iPhones have self-replaceable batteries or removable batteries that we can easily change ourselves. Now, this is completely up in the air, and I feel like if there's anything Apple, you know, if, there any, if there's anything Apple's going to do, they could easily go ahead and make sure they don't follow these lines. Maybe they'll just stop releasing iPhones in the Europe, European Union area. I don't know. But basically, what the EU law was, was that apparently, this is coming from 9to5Mac, the opposed law, or the whatever, the proposed law, was that the European Union law could require manufacturers of electronic devices to allow consumers to easily carry out DIY battery replacement. Now, that in and of itself could mean to me that it has a easily removable battery, that you could easily go ahead and replace that battery if you want to, like a self-service kind of thing. However, I do think that depending on how loosely people could look at this specific statement, it could also mean that the actual device could actually end up being a, you know, kind of a self-service type of, you know, situation. So this is two part. One, our iPhones could end up being something like a Galaxy S5 where we could actually go and, you know, just get a new battery on Amazon, replace it in two seconds, and then that's it with a removable back. But what it probably is going to fall in line with and what Apple is going to fight for is that, hey, they don't actually have to do that. They've already created their self-service repair program, which allows people and users and consumers like myself to go ahead and replace my battery completely easily. It costs money and it's a harder process than just being able to like remove the back, but it's still a cool thing that Apple's given us the capability of doing. And I think a lot of people forgot about that, including myself sometimes. Now, I say that to say in this specific example, with something like the self-service repair program, does this fit under the European Union proposed law? That I don't know of. I think that's kind of up in the air and that could probably be more like 50-50, who knows? But I do think when we do look at something like the self-service repair program, this is a good thing that Apple can combat with the EU saying, hey, we do allow ourselves to actually you know, have this self-service repair program. People can change the batteries if they want to themselves, not only the batteries, but they can actually repair and fix a majority of problems that they'd have with their iPhone. So I do think, you know, the question is, could this end up happening, like a removable back with a you know removable battery? And I would say maybe it could happen, but the chances of that happening are probably very slim. But I do think in the future, if Apple's doing what I think they're doing, which is moving away from having a ton of their revenue coming from iPhones, I do see if these types of changes happen, they're not really going to cut into their bottom dollar because they're already making so much more money in another sector. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.